All right, so we got the kayak uh, tested out here. Took it for a little test paddle today. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna spray paint it camouflage, so it's got a base layer of camo on it. Um, I do plan to put some ghillie on it as well later, but uh, that'll be made later in the season. I'm not gonna worry about it right now. Um, but for right now, I'm going to do the camouflage layer of spray paint on the kayak. And what I'm gonna do so then a couple of things I read said you should go light to dark with the camo. So my kayak is base color of tan. So I'm gonna kinda of go light to dark with the colors and then do one last layer of like of tan to add some depth to it. Um, for the spray paint, I just went to Menards, um, any hardware store or whatever is the cheapest way to go. They sell camo kits with like a, a stencil, which is ridiculous. Um, I'm just gonna use some grass that I grabbed up for a stencil, um, but yeah, I mean, you can pay a lot more for a camo camo kit if you want to. I know uh, Duck Commander, I saw one on Amazon. They have one for $40, $40. Bucks. How many cans it came with? Four. Four cans of spray paint for 40 bucks. This is a Duck Commander on it, that's crazy. If you're trying to go the cheap route, just go buy the cans of spray paint individually at a, at a hardware store or whatever you got. That'll be a lot, a lot more economical to do it that way. So here's the five colors I'm going with for uh, my camo. I've got the tan base layer. I've got black. I've got a, two different kinds of green, and I've got a rust brown. Um, and then that right there is going to be my stencil. I just grabbed a handful of, a handful of grass when I was out um, test driving a kayak. And that's just what I'm going to use for my stencil. Um, you might notice two yellow things in here. Those are foam golf balls. Another mo uh, money saving tip. As I heard uh, from another another YouTube video to use those as scupper plugs. Scupper plugs are about 14 bucks a pop, for, well, $14 for four, a four pack. And this takes six. These are five bucks for a dozen, and they work just fine. So that is something. That you can use to save you a few bucks too. Before I get started too, I'm going to start with good sanding of the kayak to make the paint stick a little bit better. So I got the sanding all done and now I'm going to switch to the painting. Painted up. Um, again, I'm no pro at this, but the goal of 
doing camo in the first place is just to break up the outline. I think it'll do a pretty good job of that. We'll get a little closer look here. Make sure to paint the paddle as well. Rust brown, I didn't wind up liking quite as much as I thought I would. Um, I figure I'll get enough mud brown on that, uh, that kayak of the marsh anyway. Um, but that rust brown does match some of the foliage, the colors that uh, some of the stuff out in the marsh turns later in the year. So that'll actually probably wind up being pretty good. Um, that's all I'm going to do on it for now. I'm going to wait a little bit later in the year. I'm going to add a bimini top kind of help come up over my head a little bit or provide back cover and I make ghillie mats to lay across the front of the kayak to kind of cover my legs and stuff like that to sort of make it a layout style boat. Um, but I will do videos of those but I'm going to wait a little bit later in the year till it's a little bit closer to season. It's only March right now and uh, I'm going to get to doing some catfishing here in the meantime. Um, again, make sure to stay tuned. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. It's Iowa Plainsman Outdoors. Thanks.